Hello and welcome to Before You Buy, where we take a deep dive look through the kit. This week's kit is AMT's 1950 Ford convertible, shown here dressed up in a custom attire. On the side we have a nice stock version. Here we got that 50 Ford convertible showboat, our part number 929, 125th kit. It is a 3-in-1, and here is the third version, the drag version. So we've got stock, custom, and drag. Here are some other features. Custom and drag engine options. Leather textured custom top. Full color decals. Pad printed drag slicks. Drag racing front suspension. And interior TV console. And on the bottom, we get a look at our parts. Quick little breakdown shows the decal. There is our production date of 2016, part number again 929 on the 50 Ford convertible. Uh, the sticker was on the cover plastic for those that are into errors. Calling this an electric slot car, but uh, it says pad printed tires, collector mini box included, and some vintage packaging. So let's crack this box open and see what's inside. This 50 Ford convertible tooling has been out since 1962 and has been reboxed many times. Uh, small parts changes here and there, but uh, essentially the same main kit. We'll clears there. Quick look at our tires. There's our convertible in this kind of a creamy vanilla white plastic. Another bag of parts, secondary bag of parts, and on the bottom we've got our instruction sheets, get this out, there's our decal package, looks like a nice big decal package, got a little round two products from 2015, and lastly here is our little mini box, it's kind of a one-third size box so you can assemble save a little space over the full size box let me get these bags opened and we'll take a closer look all right we'll start off with a quick look through the instructions for you, those of you that are new i do take photos of everything and leave them at the end so if you want to see anything in still format it is there for you here we got our stock engine and over here we've got our modified heads and intake got some exhaust dumps this is a three-in-one kit so there's a bunch of options and it may be worthwhile to kind of pick your path go through the instructions scratch off the things that you won't be using for your build just so you don't get confused glue on the wrong part we've got two different suspensions there different wheel options seating and steering wheels console Lots of cool options. I love the old AMT customizing kits. These three-in-ones. Let's you build a variety of options with one kit. Doing kind of a three-in-one plus because we have two alternate custom front ends. Some customizing tips there for you. Again, photos at the end. We will start her off with the body. Again, this tooling comes from the 1960s. I believe 62 was the initial release and has probably been repopped a dozen times, but this kit still maintains a lot of detail. You can read the custom there. You can see your door lines, keyhole, door handles. Still has nice detail. If you're allergic to flash, this may not be the kit for you. As you can see, there is some flash. Other than that, all the detail is super nice on this guy yet. Maybe some cleanup over the years, but looking good. Here we got the interior tub. Nice carpet detail, door details, even seat texture and patterns. Nice looking interior. And our chassis pan frame assembly we do have a molded in single exhaust but again you can see there's still plenty of nice detail for its age so we 
move into the parts. Started off here with that engine, with that Ford flathead engine. This is a metal axle, as they pretty much all were in the 60s. Fan, belts, some wheel backs, kind of bumper filler panels. There's our stock intake, got some pedals, suspension, upper radiator. Looks like a fuel tube. Looks like we got a filter. Another bumper filler pan, our steering column, our stock heads. And here we've got a set of plastic slicks. There are rubber ones, so don't worry. But these do build up nice. These are Ace Master Super Stocks. A nice shot of appropriate paint, flat black or like Tamiya rubber black. They look just fine under your car. Sway bar, some other optional parts here. There's a console. This is a custom hood, that pointed nose. Still again, nice detail and texture underneath. Here is the stock hood for you. Is the emblems. You can trim out your little bullet. Here's our front bench again with that nice texture. Here we see optional bucket seats and one of the front ends, those slant headlights, some chrome trim there. Here we got the other front end. There's our exhaust dumps. I believe these are like taillight extensions. Another front end filler piece, roll pan. There is our boot cover if you want the top down. Again, nice detail. All the buttons are there. Looks like some maybe some exhaust or radiator hoses. I believe this is a custom license plate. You do get two roof options if you want them up. Kind of a stock convertible top up. And then we get this half top. Uh, they call it like a limousine top. You can see it's got like a leather texture to it. Going along, we've got this would be our stock windshield frame. Got some visors, wipers. There is our dual carb. Again, kind of flashy, but the detail is still nice. Steering wheels. Here is our chop down windshield. It's just a mild chop. Again, nice detail. Nice to have the options. And here's kind of our last tree. We got some seat backs there. Looks like we've got a trophy here. We got some seat belts. There's our radiator stock suspension. We got some cinder blocks. Our wheel backs and parts. We got a battery. See those wheels still have good sharp detail. Stock air cleaner. There's our rear end leaf springs and drive shaft. Oh, won't miss the dash here. Again, nice detail. You can see the speaker grate, speedometer, clock. Lots of good stuff there. There's a couple of random bits down here. Oh, here we got our drag front. Straight axle and leaf springs. We've got the old school plastic axles. There are metal axles. And that's just like a custom headlight bucket down there. And just a few more parts to go. That is a chrome tree. We've got some nice bumpers with bumper guards. Nice bullet nose shoebox. Looks like we got some, maybe some exhaust or bumper pieces. Chrome fan, headlight buckets, custom steering wheel, custom wheels. Like I said, the some of the parts have been switched around over the years because I think the original set had a set of Barris hubcaps in there. But we got a nice grill shell there. We got some side pipes, the dual headlights, hood ornament. We got some horns, shifter. Bumperettes, different grill inserts. Again, nice to see all of those options. 
We got some spotlights. There's our topper for our trophy. Little car. There's our custom little modified heads. We do get these stuck. Ford labeled dog dish hubcaps and some other light pieces in there. Really nice looking chrome tree. Getting towards the end, again we do get real metal axles to replace those plastic ones. We do get some rubber pie crust slicks. Do have white wall and pad printing on the opposing side. And then we get four of these. We get either wide fire stones or narrow. Again, it's just a, a reverse thing. Wides or thins, four of those. And two slicks. Of course, we got our clears. Pull these out right quick. These are two windshield heights or back glass. A variety of headlights for all those custom front ends. Different height the side glass and back windows for the various tops. We do have a small tree of reds. Looks like we've got a few different taillight options to go along with those custom parts. And last but not least is the decal package. Again, we get a nice big decal package. Check out all those cool options swifty 50 got some m and h stripes showboat stripes pilot ron wolf h gas auto parts and restoration drag top man we got some cool funky scallops some old school contingencies that was really cool to see a little poster board the showboat the flamingo some moon eyes, some hand prints. Really cool looking uh, decal. I love the old vintage stuff. But, uh, that will wrap it up for this. Again, photos following this. And thanks for watching.